Hey, welcome to piano lesson number six. So this is my second one today, and yeah. So today we're gonna learn about dynamics, and like loud, soft, stuff like that. Also like crescendos, decrescendos, which is basically just going loud to soft, soft to loud. And uh, staccato and legato style of playing. Now don't get all, ah, it's not really that complicated. Okay, so if this if you just stumble across this again, just go back to the first lesson and start from there. Also, this probably will be split up just like the other last two or three. So I've noticed that a lot of people have been like seeing the second half of the video and like not seeing the first. So I'm sorry that I can't put it all together, but YouTube won't let me put a ten minute long video uh, over ten minute long video. So I tried to apply to become a director, but they haven't got back to me yet, so maybe if they do, then I'll, I don't know how everything will work, but I'll figure it out later. Okay, so, uh, let's start out with this. Okay, so, dynamics. Look at that, pretty word, eh? Okay, so basically, there's going to be, uh, you see, FF, F, F MF, MP, P, PP. So, they're kind of like abbreviated words for, oh, I should have written this out actually. Anyway, doesn't matter. Okay, this is abbreviated for uh, fortissimo. This is forte, mezzo forte, mezzo piano, piano, and pianissimo. So, they basically mean very loud, loud, moderately loud, moderately soft, soft, and very soft. Kind of like goose down. <laughs> okay, so to remember this, I think of, I teach my kids actually, that F, think of F as like a firecracker. Firecracker is like, it's like nice and loud and in your face and everything, right? That's loud, so firecracker. And P, to get them to think that it's soft, I tell them to think of a soft, little sleeping puppy. So P for puppy. Kind of like, Meh. just kind of sitting there and you're just like, pat, pat, oh, you're so soft and warm. Just kind of curled up by a little blanket and you're just like, oh. So yeah, if you can think of that, that should probably help you. So that's F, 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 uh, M, F, M, P, 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 P. Okay? So, those are the dynamics. I'll show you on the piano what I mean by the different ones after. Okay, so now, if you see this, I've write, written all this to kind of explain it, but if you see this in music, it'll be like, whoo, and it'll be like, because you're going this way, kind of just as you're reading a book, right? So you're starting off soft, see how this is really small, so think of it as soft, and then it's going bigger, so it's getting bigger and louder. So it's going from soft to loud. So if you see that in sheet music, like if you see something over here and then it's going, it just means that they want you to be softer here and louder here. So they want you to gradually get bigger. Now the reverse of that is from going loud to soft. So sometimes they'll be playing and you'll be playing all soft and then you'll get really big and then you'll die away. So they might have one of these going up and then another one coming down. So this one, getting louder from going soft to loud, is called a crescendo. And loud to soft is called a decrescendo. Okay, so that covers that. Okay, and, okay, so remember, this is the bass clef. Now we've got our 4-4 four four here. And I'm going to show you staccato versus legato style playing. So, staccato. Staccato looks like little kind of dots. They put little dots over the notes. That means that you want to play it detached. Think of these little dots as popcorn. That's what I think of it as. It's just like pop, 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 going across. Like every note is going to be kind of like popping off. Kind of like this. Like that. Okay, and legato usually is joined by a phrase, but if they don't have a staccato mark, you can assume that it's legato. Versus, although different periods of music have different styles, but that's a little too complicated to explain for this, so I just assume that if there's no staccato sign and no 
like mini rainbow here, you're just going to play it legato, so all joined together. So I'll explain that at the piano pretty quick here. So this is legato. Legato means smooth. Staccato means separate. Okay? So you can kind of think of these as like chains. Think of this as a link and this as a link. So these two links are joined together. Now the staccato, there's a link here, a link here, a link here, and a link here, but they're not actually joined. They're going to be separated. So the chain isn't put together, so you're going to play them separate. Okay, so now we'll go to the piano. Alright, so let's play the thing right over there, legato and staccato. I'll show you the difference. So. We have a C going to a D, and that's legato, and then it's going to be going G, F, E, D, and those will all be in eighth notes, and staccato. So, watch. 